What's up guys, Until Nick here, and welcome back to another Splatoon 2 update video. In the last episode we showed off some more Sheldon's picks, um, weapons, as we showed off four of them, from uh, the previous episode before that, which we showed off four others, and in this episode we'll show off the last four weapons. Now, um, before we do that, we have a, uh, the announcement of the Spring Fest, which is Tortoise vs. Hare, and it's really a unique one, because <laughs> I don't really know which one to choose, to be honest. I mean, in the end, the tortoise wins, so I might just choose tortoise, but I'll decide once it starts, which is April 19th. So I still got time. Um, anyway, though, we're going to go ahead and show off the last four weapons, which are... I remember correctly, uh, Bamboozler, 14 MK3, the Fresh Squiffer, which I thought we already had. Maybe it's a new Squiffer, I think, that we had? I don't know. Uh, the Permanent Ink Brush, and the Cherry H3 Nozzle Nose. So we'll start with the Bamboozler, which has the Fizzy Bomb and Bubble Blower, which I feel like could be really good. Because, although they did nerf the Fizzy Bomb, it still does a good amount of chip damage, has a pretty large uh, blast radius around it. And be with the uh, main power-up for the Bamboozler, it can do up to 99.9% .9 damage, I think. Which isn't a one-hit kill like it used to be in um, uh, Splatoon 1. It can be a one-hit kill if uh, get chip damage from the floor or chip damage from um, someone else, or, with the fizzy bomb here, chip damage from the fizzy bomb. And I guess they could also get chip damage from the bubble blower as well, which is also pretty good. Um, as for the bamboozer itself, I'm not really good with it. I'm just going to be pretty much just spamming like that. Because um, I don't really like this weapon. In my opinion, it's the worst weapon, but... I've died to it a good amount of times where I don't find it to be that bad of a weapon. It's just I'm really bad with it. Alright, at least I got the assist there, but... That was a smart play by that splat roller. Hitting me in the back. Yeah, you really don't shake the uh, fizzy bomb that much. When uh, you're just standing still. Alright, I got the assist there, which is good. Ah, he got me in the end. I'm surprised, I don't... I didn't really see him getting me, but I guess... Connection error, maybe? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this weapon. I don't know if it's more about turfing ink with this weapon. Or if it's more- Wow, I missed that. Okay, at least I got him there. I think that's like <laughs> one of my only kills that I'll get with a bamboozler. I guess it's the rhythm of it. Like, because of its fast fire rate, you want to go like this. It's hard to keep that rhythm, though. It actually has a surprisingly larger range than I thought it would. But, as you can see right there, duelies can very easily get on to you. Because, then again, it is a charger weapon. Although it does have a really fast uh, charge rate, it still, in the end, is a charger weapon. So, yeah, good luck trying to keep your space with not having as much range as you should. I 
Ah, I should kill that guy. Yeah, look at him. He's covered in green ink. He should have been dead. Yep, this is not my weapon. At least I got that last fizzy bomb. <laughs> That's something good. Yeah, you can see a like, little trail of ink that I made. Yeah, we lost that. Hopefully we don't lose all four matches like we did in the last episode. But, um... That probably would have... This is definitely my weakest, um... Weapon out of the four so far. Or it will be my weakest weapon. Because, yeah. Not good with charger weapons and... Bamboozler is the worst out of the charter weapons. My with my skill level, I guess. Alright, so next up we're gonna do the fresh squiffer, which is another charger weapon. So this will probably be my second weakest um what's it called? Match. I mean maybe I'll do better in Muscle Forge Fitness if we get that. Cause I don't feel like that's too bad of a map. Monta Maria, I guess, is just... There's not really that good sniping spots. Although, I could have went on the right side. Which was bad on my part. But, um... I don't know. I feel like the Squiffer is better. Because it still is a one-shot kill. Lacks in range, but still has more range than the, um... Bamboozler. But has a slightly longer, uh, charge rate. And I also keep forgetting that with, um... Charger, you can... Hold the charge while in your ink for a little bit. Not as much to the Gootuber, which is my friend right next to me. But she's inactive. Oh, never mind. Okay. Give the boo, yeah. But yeah, like what I like to do with uh, charger weapons is like charge and then make a trail of ink, and then uh, run after that ink to recharge your ink, and continue the process pretty much. Oh god. Nice. Alright. Oh, okay. I just got rolled over. I should probably keep my distance. And not <laughs> go in all crazy. Although this does have a faster charge rate than some other chargers like the E-Leader and the GooTuber, I think. And also the... Uh, what's it called? The GooTuber and the, uh, Splat Charger. Oh, nice! I got that guy! Nice. Didn't even mean to. Damn. H3 has that much range? Really? Like, I was backing up, and... Still was some able, somehow able to get me. Ah, I almost got him. Okay, uh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, there goes that. Hiding behind the wall there. I should definitely keep my distance, and that's my downfall. Damn, yeah. The other sniper can definitely outrange both of us. Not my other sniper friend, which is the YouTuber. So, uh, yeah, this isn't a good matchup, I guess you could say. Although I could throw this. Damn! She's really getting us with that H3 nozzle nose. I didn't get to see what her layout was. Maybe, uh, she had, what, what's it called? To help her out. I'm just gonna go with my sub-weapon, because... I suck with my main weapon. I should have been able to kill that guy, but I wasn't. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna run. Catch me if you can. Ah, I missed him again. Oh, I got him. Nice. I'm actually surprised I got him there. There we go. I got some suction bombs at the end there. Alright, I don't think we did as bad as the last match. Yeah, we didn't do as bad. But, um, I think we still lost, right? Yeah. 
At least we didn't lose by more than 10%. I did somewhat better. Actually, maybe I did worse. Because I feel like, okay, the Bamboozler is more of a... Like, a, more of a turf war weapon with its faster fire rate and stuff like that. But the Squiffer is more for kills. Because you can just hold that one shot kill. But I'm never, I've never been good with... Uh, chargers and probably never will be so here we are with the uh permanent ink brush and now that i think about it was that fresh squiffer the only weapon that's like that doesn't have like a new sub or special because it's kind of weird like it's sheldon's picks and i guess uh the soda slasher also didn't have a new sub or special but i think there's only one other weapon that had the burst bomb brush so that was, I guess, something kind of new, but the first Squiffer only had the um, Suction Bomb and Inkjet, which has been there since day one, while other weapons have been having Fizzy Bombs and Booyah Bombs and, uh, what's it called? Ultra Stamps and all that stuff. So, okay, this one's another one of those weapons that doesn't really have anything special. So we have the Sprinkler and the, um... Damn, I forgot how fast this weapon is. Um, the sprinkler and the uh, ink armor. Both which I feel like are pretty good weapons. They're pretty good subs and specials, you know. And I can just run around and have fun. Okay, maybe not too much. <laughs> maybe not too much fun. Did I get the assist there? Or did he run away? Ah, uh, I thought- Oh, come on. I thought I won that fight. Whatever, we have the same weapon anyway, so... I feel like we were both gonna die anyway. Unless I laid down a sprinkler, which, by the way, sprinklers are a lot better in this game. Or not in this game, but... Uh, recent update. Alright, I got the assist there. <laughs> I killed that guy again. Or at least got the assist. Got that guy. Okay, I'm getting chased after. <laughs> Alright, I got him again. Or not the- Okay, it's not the same guy. There's two splat rollers. I was like, did I really just get him again? I mean, maybe a like, quick respawn or quick super jump to get there, but nah, it was just- just a prank, bro. Ah. Uh, that was my mistake. Ah, oh, man, he got me. I hate splash downs. I guess it's my fault. Like, I have this stupid habit of jumping whenever I come out of the ink and then attacking from there. Uh, help this guy out. Ah, uh, he got me, got, got me again. But I have this habit of just jumping out, and I have to get out of this habit because it's really affecting my gameplay. Um, where I jump out, especially when I'm using the Kenta Undercover Bella, where I jump out and then um, attack. Oh, really? That didn't hit me. That did not hit me. You can't convince me that hit me. Um, but I have this habit of jumping out and like, like stuff like the splashdown. I'm not able to get down fast enough to escape from that spl said splashdown. Alright, that was a good distraction there. Killed him, okay. Can't really tell if we won or not. Uh, I think we won. Yeah, we won that. So, already doing better than the last episode. Because last episode we lost every single match. So now at least we'll lose at the least, or at the most, three, but at the least, two. I got ten kills that round, nice. Not bad at all. Permanent, as you can say. <laughs> as it is the permanent ink brush. And I feel like this could be definitely a good weapon because I don't think there are other... I think there is one more weapon that has a 
sprinkler and ink armor, but it's not really a, like the ink brush where it can cover ink. I think it's more of a slow fire rate weapon. But um, it, I feel like it definitely could be, it could be good. Um, just by having the ability of kind of getting ink armor more frequently because of covering turf by both your main weapon and your sub weapon can definitely help boost up and get your uh, special being ink armor and definitely helping out your team and stuff um, by getting both map control and by getting ink armor so definitely something good um, anyway we're doing the cherry h3 nozzle nose here which actually is surprisingly a lot more range than I thought it did um, it is a semi-automatic weapon I think is how you say it I don't know my guns too much so my bad um, but yeah, it has the uh, splash wall and the uh, bubble blower. And it almost got hit by a booyah bomb. <laughs> ah, dang it. Yeah, it ain't gone around. Alright, I'll try and get rid of that sprinkler because it covers a lot more turf than it used to do. I'll um, put a splash wall down there just to be safe. Uh, someone's trying to go over here. And someone's over here. Alright, I got him, but... You got me too. Cause like, I thought I saw the... Not uh, really. Seems like we're down an opponent. Or team, I mean. Team member, not opponent. I wish we were down an opponent, but we're not. Okay, looks like he's back active again. I don't know why that guy jumped back, but okay. Hit that guy once. Alright, I got someone, Chris. Okay. I love that sound effect. I heard it. I think I. I think I heard it back there. But if you get all three shots, it makes this satisfying, like clink sound. I like it. All right, splash ball deployed. Deploy another one. Oh come on! Did I get two shots on one of them and two shots on the other? Cause I think the ink brush like jumped in front of the splat roller guy, taking that like last shot to protect his friend or whatever. Which is really annoying. And I also died from that. I'm really surprised because I thought he wasn't gonna hit the edge. I thought he was gonna go over the edge and have less of a blast radius from that towards the base. Or not the base, but like you know what I'm saying. Didn't mean to fall off there. And I'm dead again. <laughs> okay. I definitely like this weapon. I just... It's another weapon that I'm just not used to. And just... Lacking the skill. Because at least with the ink brush, I have a lot of skill with. With the octo brush being my main for a rainmaker. But like, charger weapons, I'm not... I've never mained them. Never probably will. And the nozzle noses are so different from the other weapons that it's just so hard to kind of adapt to it, I guess. Like, there's no other semi-automatic weapons in the nozzle noses, so they're weird. Um, but I think they actually are a lot better with main power-up, because I think they can be a one-shot kill, or maybe they are a one-shot kill, if you get all three shots on one opponent. Which I guess I didn't get. But um, I also love the design here. Um, anyway though, thank you guys all for watching. That is it for Sheldon's picks. Um, I don't know if this is volume 1. If there will be a volume 2. And um, yeah. But um, as you saw before, we are having a Splatfest. Which is a special Splatfest, I guess. Called Springfest. Tortoise vs. Hare. 
April 18th, I th think it said. So not too far away. Definitely be showing that off. So stay tuned for that. And if there is a uh, Sheldon's Picks Volume 2, stay tuned for that too. But we don't really have confirmation. But until then, stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 updates right here on Tell Nick. Bye.